The biggest crossover boxing event ever. Live on the Zone pay per view October 14th. Sign up at DAZN.com. This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV. We're at the public workout here. Well, kind of public. Is it public or not? I don't know. No, no it's not public. Every public. You're well, lucky to come here, basically. No. Just some very special invited guests who bought the pay per view early. Got a bottle of arse. Special limited edition prime to be revealed on Saturday night. What's it called? Misfits Prime. Oh. Well, I've called it that. But we'll it's, have, no, it's we'll a, have a case card. of that. It's a prime card, so it's a prime card prime. But I like Misfits Prime. Hello, Sowland. Um, first of all, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm buzzing now because I'm here. It's fight week. But it's been a hell of a job getting this mad show on. Yeah? Uh, make no mistake about it. The rings under my eyes are not from party. They're from absolutely graft in the last couple of weeks. It's been madness. It, it, I've done some big shows over the years. But this is totally different to anything else. It's just, just it's going to absolutely fucking knock that record out the fucking sky on Saturday night. That record is the pay-per-view record. It, it's going to just melt the internet because you just, oh, look, we've had two billion, and I'm talking to a man who understands his numbers here, two billion impressions on, a, on, on the Paul Dennis fight alone. Two billion impressions. Now, I don't know much about social media, as you know, but I do understand numbers. That's a lot of numbers, isn't it? That is a hell of a lot of numbers, to be fair. On one fight, just that hashtag, that's sick. That is sick. So, Saturday night, very, very excited. Um, it's entertainment, people. Stop knocking me. I can hear you thinking right in the comments, like, you know, all that. Don't knock it. Don't watch it. You don't like it. It's entertainment, right? And there's six and a half hours of it. So, for £20, that ain't bad value these days. Right, we're going to test you now. The zone.com. The zone.com. Buy it. Tune in. Right, we know this event is the hottest ticket for quite some time. Yeah. It is. Right, so here's the question to you, right? To give people a, a kind of a gauge of exactly how big this event is. So, hypothetically, this event is, which it is, you can't get a ticket for live on money, right? So we I was talking to Adi Oladipo the other day about who's big enough to ring you or Mams up and go, Kala, I want a ticket, and you go, yes. Yeah. So who are you rejecting, who are you not? So I'm gonna give you some names here. Yeah. So you tell me, would these people the get into it? Two seconds to reply to each name. Right, yes, okay. No, yes, no. okay. Yeah. So bear in mind, you've got to get rid of one of the tickets yeah. to give one of the tickets. Right, okay. Remember that. How many tickets have I got all together? So we've got five names. Yes, how many tickets have I got? You've got five, you've got, you've got to get rid of five people and put these five people in, or would you do it? Okay. Did you, yeah. you get the game? Yeah, get the right. game. Okay. Screw it up, but I David Beckham rings you up. Does David Beckham? He's got a ticket. I just watched the program on Netflix. Fantastic show. Very interesting. I've always been a fan. Yep. Beckham's in. Beckham's in. So someone goes out. Beckham's yeah. in. Yeah. Harry Kane. Does Harry Kane get in oh, this week? Got, oh, you got me, with Harry Kane. Not no, with Tottenham anymore. Not with Tottenham anymore. Harry Kane. No. You'd say no to Harry Kane. Oh, of course, yes, I have to. That's mental. I have to because I know the next one you're going to say. It's going to be Hoiming Son, so I've got to put him in, don't I? You're going to trick me on this. Can I, can I, can I, put, can I, can I sub Kane back in after? No. Okay, so you, hold on. Beckham's in. Beckham's in. Uh, uh, Kane, Kane is not. I'm no, you said right no now. to Kane. You'd ring, you wouldn't let Kane in. Okay, I wouldn't let Kane in. Bakaya Saka wants to come on Saturday. No bloody way. <laughs> not a chance outside. No, 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 no. You wouldn't let Bakaya Saka, <laughs> England <laughs> star Bakaya Saka. I actually Saka. quite like him. He seems like a very nice man. But I've only got ten tickets, or five tickets. Right. So, so, yeah, so I've left Kane out. I'm not going to let Saka in, am I? Not a chance. Go on, next one. Go on, I'm getting worried now. Mental. I'm getting worried now because you're doing... Kind of decline. We started Beckham, Kane, now Okay, Saka. all right. He's injured. 
Okay. Does Idris Elba get in this week? Big fan of Lufa. You're not sure, are you? But, he's, but you see him a lot around, so it's not that special, is it? But I've got to put him in. I've got to put, I love it like I love Lufa, man. And I've got a feeling he's the next Bond, so I need tickets for that premiere. He's going in. Beckham and Idris. Beckham and Idris is in. Okay, fair enough. Right. Does matchroom CEO of boxing Frank Smith get in this week if he falls? Bearing one is in boxing. Yeah. Does he get in? Absolutely. I'll tell you why. Because he's good for a few Joshua tickets, isn't he? Last name, Joe. So I've left that Harry Kane for Frank Smith. Frank, you, you better listen to that, right? That's a sign of love there, mate. All right, fair enough. We're going to chuck you one more. Joe? Gary Lineker. Does Gary Lineker get in? Good, good. Yeah. Oh, Jugs, uh, ex Tottenham legend. I've got to put Kane in over him, though. I've left Kane out now. I've got to turn him down, sorry. No. No to Gary Lineker as well. <laughs> Madness. Anyway. It's a big. No, Frank. Again, there's going to be some big names here. Can you reveal any of the big names here this week on Saturday? Friday. Let's talk Friday. I'll tell you why. And I had Kane's in. All right, Kane's in. I didn't mean that, Kane. You're you're in. You're in. Call. Give us a call. Click bang to fuck you for life. Fuck now, I know. Absolutely done. Friday. Um, I'll I'll tell you Friday. I'll tell you why. I was looking at on the train on the way up here. the list, this is not a made up list, is 450 people. I even saw, I saw one of the earlier versions, not on the version anymore, don't knock me people, that Rishi Sunak's name was on that one, the first list from his family. So, Does Sunak get in? Yeah, I mean... It, it, Would Boris get in? I'm, I'm hoping for a bit of a tax Would Boris get in? On Boris, no, he's useless now. Isn't he? No, Rishi Sunak, I get a bit of a tax rebate, I'll have a bit of Rishi. We love a bit of Rishi, yeah. Get Rishi in there. You know Megan, what I mean? uh, would Meghan Markle get in? Meghan Markle must be bloody. No, not a chance. No, no. Not if even though I had 50 tickets. Not a chance. No, horrible. Would Ben Shalom get in? Well, he's dating Meghan Markle, isn't he? So he's out as well. Oh, do you not know that? What? Do you not know that? No, I don't have a clue what he's talking about. Meghan Markle. Uh, ben Shalom. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what, he would have until I saw this. I've got, I've got to ask him if this was... I thought he was hacked. I saw this thing go out on their uh, on their Instagram. A very interesting-looking model poses by you there, Ben. Uh, we've got to talk about that. So, until I've had an explanation... That was photoshopped. Of, I've got I to say... He was hacked. He was uh, hacked. Was photoshopped. Them pictures were photoshopped. What's that? They were photoshopped. Oh, photoshopped. It's a trend. It must have been hacked to put that out. Must have been hacked. If, if my social media would have put that out about me, I'll tell you something, they'd be through the window without me opening it, right? You, you've got to be kidding me. No, no, no. We're going to talk about that, Ben. So until Ben's explained that, no, Ben's on the no list. Right, OK. Meghan Markle. OK, fair enough. Um, Callow, listen, I, I have got to talk to you about this news that seems to be like ongoing, but the last two days... It's gathered a lot of pace and there's a lot of credible reporters that are right there reporting that Eubank against Conor Ben is done for the Middle East, um, specifically Abu Dhabi for the 23rd. Is it done for the 23rd in Abu Dhabi? It's, it's not done for the 23rd in Abu Dhabi. I think those reports, I'm not saying those reports here, I'm not saying those reports, um, I, I don't want to do it now. Yeah, th- I mean, this is, this is the reason that I can't let Ben in at the moment until he's explained to me what this is. I, I, for the life of me, I don't know, it's like that like, uh, YMCA. Uh, so yeah, until that's explained, Ben's on the no list. Sorry. Back to Abu Dhabi. Um, no, I mean, uh, you know, what can I say? Uh, it's, it's not done or else it would be announced, wouldn't it? But. I think also, to be fair, I've read the interview. First of all, I was like, what's he saying? What's he, what's he saying now? Because I've, I've got to speak to the Eubank. There's, they've got several options on the table. That is one of them. Yeah. And yes, there have been talks around Abu Dhabi. But concrete-wise, it's not. there's nothing done. And then there's, there's something we have to discuss through the different options of different fights. And that's happening this week. Um, but at the same time, 
I read I read where that came from or how it came and if you read it properly it's like that would be a fallback if we went for that fight and if that fight wouldn't happen in the UK and the UK is you know there's obviously the, the, the hopefully a, uh, something possible with the British board if it's not then uh, you know there's there's other, other sanctioning bodies one could look at as well which wouldn't be a path I'd like to go down I think then, then Abu Dhabi would rather, you know, would, would be an int very interesting one. It's a great, great place to host a fight. But are, are we there? No, absolutely not. No, and, but I think the articles, you know, the headlines make more than uh, than the quotes are in the articles. But that's okay. That's good. Good for business. What's your understanding about that situation regarding Conor Ben and the board in relation to whether this fight can happen in the UK on the 23rd of December or not? Um, it's one really for them. What my understanding is, he's, uh, he's just had a fight in, in, in America, so he's got to apply for a foreign boxer license here. It's very difficult to refuse that because there's a restraint of trade. But, but there's an ongoing process. That appeal has only been, I think, uh, heard sometime in the future. It's one for them. I stay out of that. Well, I've just gone straight on, on, on Chris Eubank Jr.'s next fight. and. Like I said, you know, the, the big fight to make, and everyone knows that, is Conor Ben. But there's a couple of other options, and we have to, we have to go through those and, and see what, where we end up. And hopefully we can find a way, if it is Conor Ben, of doing that fight. You know, of making that fight. And finally, finally, finally closing a chapter on this, you know. But it shows how big it is again, you know, it does. It, it's, it's a big, big fight. Not worried about going head to head if a Fury Nusek lands on that same date. It's not going to land on that day. Let's make no mistake. That fight is not happening in December, right? Not happening in December, right? Not a chance. Tyson, right now, is king of the castle. He's earned his way up there. Now, I'm, we're suffering for the whole Hergovic thing because of it. Now. Tyson, though, he doesn't care about anyone else because he's, he's, he's paid his dues in the graph to get to where he is. I get it. You think he's going to fight against Ngannou, make a ton of money, and not go out and celebrate for a few weeks afterwards? That's what Tyson does. Then it comes to Christmas time. But, you know, is Tyson going to have a nice family Christmas, a few drinks, a bit of turkey, you know? And then we wake up in January, we've got a few extra kilos, and Tyson always has a big camp. So as he, I see that fight happening, I don't know, sometime next year. Yeah, I'll be astounded if both those fights wind up on the same day. They're not going to wind up on the same day. We know we're not. Um, Hergovic and Wallin? Yeah, I, I don't know about that. Uh, <laughs> I saw that on the way up here. I don't know. I mean, there's some very, very strange uh, things going on at the IBF with heavyweights at the moment, let's put it that way. I don't, can't work out how Wallin has jumped AJ, although AJ just fought. Doesn't add up, does it? A few things going on there. I don't know what it is. You know, the IBF has always been very regular. You know, it's still an ongoing matter for us with, uh, with the IBF and, and the Hergovic situation. We got a very clear letter in August, the winners have to fight each other. There wasn't any mention about any possible special exceptions, things like that. And then they filed for a fight that I know no one thinks Ngana is going to win, but what, what happens if he wins? You know, what happens if he wins? You know, I know it's not a title fight. I know theoretically they still could fight, but the people who have bought that fight, they'll surely have a clause in there that says he has to have won his last fight. So it's like, can't really, you know, can't really make it up. It's it's a, it's a farce because Hergovic against Uzik could happen in, in December, and then they could both fight in in April, which is realistically when the Tyson Fury fight's going to happen, anyways. But Uzik just wants nothing to do with Hergovic. Absolutely shit stones, totally scared of Hergovic. They, they want nothing to do with that fight. Far too high risk, far too low reward. Right, OK, well, listen, we know there's a lot going on this week, obviously. Um, like I said, the hottest ticket in town is in Manchester, live on the zone this Saturday night, the Prime X card. Um, just before we let you go, I'm going to pick out four random fights. You have to pick a winner. OK. So no fence sitting, no draws. Ready? 
Who wins, Salt Pappy or Slim? Salt Pappy. Who wins, King Kenny or Anthony Taylor? King Kenny. Who wins, Astrid Wett or Alexia Grace? Astrid Wett. Who wins, Logan Paul or Dylan Dennis? Logan Paul. And who wins, KSI versus Tommy Fury? K. S. I. What's happening with Anthony Taylor and Swarms? Can you update us? Brian 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 Taylor, Taylor, sorry. I'll let Mams do that. Let's just say uh, Ryan Taylor's had a uh, few issues outside the ring, which means he's been uh, at somewhat at, at somebody's uh, at somebody's pleasure this week, which means he hasn't been able to uh, let's complete certain things. Will Swarm still fight? We're looking for. I think we've got a replacement for Swarms. Um, but Mams is uh, is working on that part. That's that's his area. Okay, Callum Sowland, fellow league leader and fellow unbeaten in the Premier oh. League. Only one or two teams. Right. Now, let me. Now I'm just going to ask Coogan a couple of questions. Coogan, who is top of the league? Arsenal and Tottenham are joint top. No, no, no. If the league ended today, because he's not a politician. If the league ended today, who would win the league? The league would never end after eight no, games. No, 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 just answer It would that. never no, end after eight games. If it was COVID and suddenly they called the no, league no, off. No, 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 no. So, so, but what would happen? I'll ask the question. Answer the question. It would never... No, but if he did... If your aunt had all, she be your uncle. If, 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 if... What's your next if, question, Calla? That's the only question. If the league finished today... Joe, come on. If the league finished today... Who would be champions? Right, okay. Would you be happy to be champions no, after eight? Well, All right, okay. I'll take it. Right now. I'll take it. So would you. After eight games? So would you. You're mental. You, you actually you are mental. Right now. You not would take anything. Just answer the question. Just unite. Will you unite for one minute? We are top of the league. And unbeaten. We're unbeaten. Yeah. We're unbeaten. We're in the Champions League. You're not. But anyway. Which I think is a big advantage for us this season. You'll see. You called that last year. Your squad makes rice paper look thick, right? So let's talk January when we're like 10 points clear, cruising for our first championship. Crazy. In 150 years. Tottenham fans are absolutely delusional. They're delusional are the, are the arsenal fans. So, you know what? Monday morning, right? Walking down the road, drinking my latte, everywhere. Arsenal fans in shirts. What, what, what do you think? You won the league on Sunday? You beat Man City for the first time in eight years. We've done the double over them two seasons ago, right? So, like, the things that you lot celebrate. What did you, what did you win that season? You did the double. It's completely. There we go. No, no, actually, we beat you, and you were at that game. You were in our box, right? And I have pictures of you in the Tottenham end, so you be very careful. Back back to you in the studio. Back to you in the studio. Just watch. Watch this space. If you don't behave, I'm putting those pictures out. Okay. put your money where your mouth is then. Who comes higher? Put your money where your mouth is. What are we going? Sensible. Do a pound? No, (laughs) go sensible. They do something funny. let me think, I'll think of a bet by the time we do the next interview. To the next prime card. I'll fucking get that anyway with Misfits, <laughs> you nutter. No, but not for us. It's the first one on me. I'll do it said, not for us. We're always ringside, baby. Callis Allen, thank you very much. It's always a pleasure with you two. Very dangerous. Batman and Robin here. <laughs> so what's going to happen this week? Have you met Charlie Parsons? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Charlie's here as well. Top man, thank you very much.